So here's what I'm trying to do, guys. It's been a rough couple days for me trying to figure this out. And a lot of you are going to call me an idiot and dumb, I guess, over it. But I'm trying to get these chains off of here. I don't like them. So I built some stabilizer link, you know, kit deal. This is my first attempt and a complete fail. All right, I think this is the best way to illustrate my failure. Is to simply, this is an upright, like a cart, you know, a hand truck, they call it, whatever. This is pulled all the way to it. That's as hard as I can push it. It's right next to it. Now watch what happens when I raise it up. Watch the arm compared to this spot right here. And I'm going to keep it pushed out this direction. Oh, look at all that travel, guys. Ah! Oh, let it down all the way. Woo! Raise it. Ah! Oh, we're making a huge arch. Here's the issue with our arch that it's making. This point right here, guys, where the chain was, and that point right there are actually, the, it, the camera doesn't show it, but they're actually even this way like that. So why does it arch? It shouldn't arch, you wouldn't think, or I didn't think. The reason why is because this chain right here where it joins is quite a bit further ahead, like six inches from this back point. So what I have to do is make this, this is going to have to be even with this point right here. Good morning, Hoogles. Looking at different tractors, getting different ideas on how to make this bracket, and I like that right there. And that's mounted on this McCormick. Turn around where we can see you, Mr. Hoogly. No, no Papa Rocky. <laughs> this is flat on the axle. This pin is marked halfway up. Now I'll just put it right there. All this is telling me is the up and down. You know, how low this pin needs to be where I drill the hole. The next measurement you're gonna need is from here to the axle back here. Do this part right and take your time. I just wanted to give you a little visual. This should be a bolt. And this, pretend this is a long pin coming out of here. You need to know where this hole is for your bracket and you need to know where this hole is for your bolt that goes up in here. And there's two of them back there. Just. Pretend that's a pin, there it is. And you take your measurement from the center of this back here to the center of this right here. And that will locate your pin, your pin hole for your bracket and your bolt holes for your bracket. And sorry guys, this happens sometimes. I'm underneath this tractor and I noticed these are rubber bushings right here. That's cool. What that does is it takes the shock, the vibration out of where your feet sit. It's probably got, it's, I'm sure it's got some you know, up here too, but it makes where your feet are dampens the vibration. So that was, that's pretty cool. This is the stabilizer arm off of the tractor and it had one of them flat stabilizer arms that comes off of it. And I'm just trying to update this thing. So I'm just going to use this for a template. The only holes that are any good on this that are useful to me are these two right here that bolt to the axle. This one's not going to line up where I need it to. I'm just using this to, to make a template. Uh, out of this piece of metal right here.
opted to bring this video to a screeching halt is because you can't do that, guys. You can't drill holes like that. You can, but it'll be a sloppy mess. It was getting late. I was getting in a hurry, and that's when you make a mess, so I just stopped. I ended up bringing those pipes and, and uh, solid bar to a professional to drill them out nice and straight down through there. I probably could have done it myself, but it would have took me so much longer than just bring it to a guy who's got the right equipment, you know, to do the job. So I got that done. All the pieces are drilled out and ready to go back on this tractor. I'm going to show you how I space the holes real quick, and then we'll get all this stuff together and slam it on this tractor. So the way I did my hole spacing, the solid piece, I did the holes an inch apart. And then the pipe or the sleeve, whatever you use, I did an inch and a quarter. And the reason for that is, see that'll line up right there, and you only have to move it a quarter of an inch, and you have another hole to line up. And again, quarter of an inch, and there's another hole to line up right, right there. And another. So you get the point, by staggering the holes an inch and a quarter and an inch, it gives you a wider range for your adjustment on your stabilizer arms. I almost forgot to mention these little ends right here. I just bought a top link from TSC, and these are going to be used for the pivot point on my stabilizer bars. So here we go, guys. There's all the parts that are ready to go on this old tractor. And guys, I'm getting, I'm not even going to lie to you, I'm getting a little bit choked up. Because, honestly, this could be the greatest moment in my entire life. I'm not, I'm not even kidding right now. There it is, all put back together. Time to do the test, guys. Let's see if we got this thing straight. Or how, how far in and out the arms are moving or what. So here we go. It's at the lowest position and I marked it. There's a ratchet strap holding the arms together and this side is taped so it won't move in the ball. Let's raise it up, see how much movement we get. It's all the way up. That's what movement we've got, guys. It's like, let me get out of your light. I'd say a quarter of an inch, maybe. That is impressive, guys. I think now, and that's an out, outwardly position. Let's squeeze the arms, both arms, all the way together and try it. Unbelievable, guys. I don't even know. Let me try and get out of your light. Look at that. It didn't even, I don't even think it moved. That is amazing. For it being that close, there should be a curve in it. There's not, none at all. Amazing. That's cool. And you know, the pins are locked in my arms and everything like they're supposed to be. Let's try the middle position, see what happens. So typically, this is where it's gonna be set up, guys. Kinda, kinda in the middle to hold your implement. And I marked it, let's raise it up and see how much movement we got in the arms.
Check it out for yourselves. Maybe at most a quarter of an inch movement. Unbelievable, guys. Very happy with this, with this project. The results of those stabilizer arms coming out that good within a quarter of an inch is, is absolutely amazing and far exceeded my expectations. Those of you that follow my channel know that I did this test on my John Deere as I was building these brackets and arms and everything, and it had five eighths of an inch of movement. So how this happened is just purely dumb luck, to be honest with you guys. Listen, I've started an Instagram account. So if you guys want to know what videos are upcoming, you know, I'm going to try and post it on Instagram. That way you'll know ahead of time what I'm working on, see if you're interested in it, and if you want to tune in on YouTube to watch it. I will eventually take all this stuff back off, you know, polish it up a little bit and paint it and all that kind of stuff. And then we'll put it on the wood chipper and see how they work, see if they hold the equipment nice and steady. And I think it will. Guys, thanks for watching. This has been just a great experience for me. I had so much fun, and we'll see you next time. Hey, do you mind if I finish this video here, please? Do you mind? Go on over there. Go on.